folks, it's Diana Hart, Chef Diana Hart from Diana Hart Fine Catering. I'm going to give you a quick meal, like a really quick meal. We're going to do seared salmon, pan seared salmon, and we're going to do a mushroom risotto. Um, and we're using, instead of rice, short grain of Oreo rice, which would take about 30 minutes to cook with wine and whatnot, we're going to use instead this fabulous riced cauliflower. It's going to give you fiber, vegetable protein, less carbohydrate. This would be considered a lovely keto meal. So the first thing I'm going to show you is I have already prepped about a um, half cup of diced onions and we're going to pop that right in a nice hot pan here. Pan should always be hot first. Uh, I have truffle oil that I'm going to add to finish the um, risotto on top, but I'm going to put a little bit of that on the salmon right now. This is just going to give it a lovely unctuous flavor, that umami that we want, right? I have um, almost a quart. Um, it was an eight ounce package of lovely Trader Joe's Bella mushrooms, baby Bella mushrooms. Um, they have, I think, more flavor than the white mushroom. I'm also going to use one of their fabulous seasonings, the mushroom umami uh, seasoning, which has not only dried porcini and uh, white button mushrooms, it has it does have salt, it has dried onion, and it has black pepper and crushed red pepper for a little bite. So it's a really nice flavor. But just remember, when you're using this seasoning, you don't need to add salt and pepper to everything. So I'm going to add a tiny bit to our salmon, which we're going to pan sear very shortly. But we're going to start with the onions and sweating those and cooking our mushrooms down. And then our collie rice, which is ready to go in a little bag. I didn't even have to rice it. It's already done for us. I'm going to add a little of that truffle oil in here. That's a nice hot pan. You hear that sizzle? That's what we want. We want to cook this really fast. This is really a pretty much a 10 minute meal. I have two um, beautiful fillets skinned uh, salmon fillets. They're probably about eight ounce, six to eight ounce. It's a perfect portion. So in go the mushrooms. We don't need to sweat these onions too much. We want them to have a little flavor. So in they go. And I've chopped them coarsely. I've done some a little bit finer because I want them to become part of that rice and the sauce and a little, some a little bit bigger because if you want to have some of the mushrooms there, have a nice bite and give you some texture to your risotto. So once again, we're using cauli, riced cauliflower, and this is frozen. You could do it yourself, but isn't this great that it's already done for us? And this is going to save us time and make, give us a 15 minute dinner. I'm now going to turn on the pan, the heat under the pan that I'm going to sear our salmon in. And I'm going to use a little bit, just a little bit of my, um, my truffle oil in that pan. There's already some on the salmon, and salmon is considered one of the oilier fishes, so you don't want to have too much oil. All right. Let's give these mushrooms a toss. They're still sitting kind of on top of the onions. I'm going to get a tong so I can move those around a little. It's not going to take much to cook these mushrooms down. This is a great pan, by the way. It's almost like a mini wok. It's round, so I can really throw the mushrooms and the onions around. Nice and hot. Check it. So I'm gonna throw these. Whoops. I said I was gonna put oil in there and I didn't put the oil. There we go. So this is just an olive oil, but it has pieces of truffle in it. Um, a lovely naturally flavored EVOO. So it's taken on all of the flavor of truffles, which 
are like concentrated mushrooms, honestly. So in go my two pieces. And I'm going to cook them about uh, four minutes on this side and maybe two to three minutes on the other side. That's all it takes. You want them to kind of be um, heated through, cooked through, but not well done. Uh, you don't want dry salmon. You want uh, buttery salmon. So it's time basically to add the risotto, the poly rice, into this mushroom mixture. Because it's frozen, because the poly rice is frozen, it's going to have a lot more liquid that needs to cook down. This is a 12 ounce bag. Um, the oil kind of evenly distributed. Also going to add a little pinch of thyme, which goes so nicely with mushrooms. And I'm going to add a few pepper rinds, a few turns. I'm going to add a few turns on the top of my salmon. Remember, we put some of the uh, umami, the, this fabulous seasoning from uh, Trader Joe's Mushroom and Company, um, already on the salmon, so we don't want to add any more salt. Let the diner decide how much salt they want on there. Poly rice is really steaming. Oh, the smell is so good because I'm getting the mushroom, I'm getting the thyme, I'm getting the truffle oil. It's really fabulous. Now this dish you could you could do vegan if you want to. Um, I might add uh, some vegetable stock or mushroom mushroom broth or stock. And if you want to keep it vegan. You could add nutritional yeast, which is like adding Parmesan cheese at the very end. Mix that in. It's delicious. It adds a lot of B vitamins to your dish, which our vegans love. Or you could do the more traditional and add Parmesan cheese, which I love. All right, time to turn the salmon over. See that here so you can see it. So this nice color. Isn't that beautiful? See that nice color? And now on this side, it's really only going to take about, I would say, less than two minutes to cook. So we're almost done with our dinner prep, folks. So I need a plate. I like to have a clean surface. Plate on. And if it doesn't feel clean, you can always put a pretty towel on on our table. This was actually this was my mom's apron from the fifties, and my friend made it into a tea towel. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you, Lois. All 
All right, so there's our risotto, and the liquid has really cooked down out of it. So now's the time to add anything else that you want. Parsley, scallion, give it a little zing. I might add a little spinach. I have um, some organic baby spinach leaves that are all clean. That's going to give it just a nice color. Some vitamins. Let's give it a toss. That's looking pretty. All right, I got to take that salmon off the heat. I'm turning the, uh, the risotto off as well, but I'm going to add a little chicken broth and a little cheese just to bring it together. I'm adding probably a quarter cup of mushroom broth. You could add a vegetable or you could add chicken broth if you want. Look at how pretty those are. They're golden, they're beautiful. Thank you. 